All right, I might have to try to make my first edited video. I'm here working on the trailer, and I just wanted to show you guys what I'm thinking about, what I'm trying right now. So this, if you haven't seen these already, this is uh, the main high voltage cable and plug for a Tesla battery pack. And this is the connector that I got with the battery that I'm working on. And just slides right in there. Really easy, goes right in there. The problem is that A, it is way too tall. My floor is gonna be just uh, a few inches above this. So this is about a quarter inch from here to here. So there's gonna be either, probably an inch, um, probably an inch of foam and then some plywood. Uh, so I have very minimal room to make a 90 from here uh, to go that way because that's the front of the trailer. Um, so I need to dismantle this uh, beautiful thing that Tesla made here and these are worth quite a bit of money. So it's a shame, but it's not gonna work for what I need. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe splice some videos together because I'm gonna try to pull these things apart and see how much of this I can eliminate because uh, it's all going to be covered so I, I don't need this and I don't need this mechanism which is what uh, it's a spring so when you connect the battery pack when you push the battery pack up it springs and keeps it in place so I don't need any of that stuff I just need a tight 90 from here that way uh, so stay tuned I'm going to try to splice some stuff together and dismantle this all right, I really don't have the equipment to do this very easily, but I'm gonna to try to piece this together for you guys. So the plastic piece comes off really easy. It just one slides down and they both come disconnected. Uh, next, I took off these clips here and those clips are connected to these right there. Uh, so that was also easy. There was a zip tie on each holding them on, you just cut the zip tie uh, with out of my cutters right there, and, and those came right off. Um, also this, put this down, this came off really easy. You just have to stick a screwdriver in here. There's a little tab, let's see if I can show you on this one. Where is the tab? It's this tab, yeah, that right there. So you just push that in, and then these slide, as you can see right there. So you slide that, and then that releases that bracket. So then you don't have to deal with that anymore. Uh, then these slide pretty freely. Um, oh, also, before you can move that or this, you have uh, this pin right here. And I was looking at my screwdriver, took the tip off, and this actually fits perfectly right on there. And you unscrew that and you can pull the pin off. So you definitely have to do that because that pin, I'm going to try to show you, that pin screws into that point right there. So you cannot take this cover off, this right here, until you unscrew that pin. Uh, so far it looks like that pin doesn't have to be unscrewed. Uh, I'm not sure what it goes to yet. Uh, I think it's just an alignment pin, but I'll keep digging. Uh, so far, I've taken a lot of material off of this plug, and I'm thinking maybe I can reuse these and just take all this off and then put them here and bend it forward. Uh, just These should ease the transition. Uh, so I'm going to keep working on it. Just wanted to give an update on to where I'm at right now. All right, and I'm checking out this plastic thing. Uh, this was actually really easy. There's just a tab here, and then a tab on this side. And you take a flathead screwdriver, pull the tabs outward, and then this pops off. I'm not sure if I'm going to reuse this. It might help uh, just stabilize everything in there. We'll see. But it looks like that pin does not go to anything. It's just there for... Uh, stability and alignment.
And looks like just another clip there, and then this will pop off. Trying to do this one-handed is, of course, a pain, but uh, I'll keep working on that and come back in a, a minute. Yep, very easy. Uh, just had to pry this off. There's just a little latch right there that catches. So once you pry that off, this comes right off as well. All right, at this point, I got pretty much everything taken apart, but all the stuff is still stuck on here because I still have the ends over here. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is cut off these beautiful, perfect, uh, I forget what they call that, but however they, son I think it's sonically welded on or something like that. Uh, it's pretty perfect, but I will have to cut those off to get off all these fittings and all this stuff. And it looks like, I, I really wanna be careful here and I don't wanna damage the wire or the plug but I'm wondering how flat I can get this. And unfortunately, it's, I don't think gonna be perfectly, uh, well, it's not even gonna be close to 90. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably have a little hump here in the floor of the uh, teardrop, which could be okay, actually. Now that I think about it, I could maybe have a cabinet in this area and just leave the floor of the cabinet a little bit higher. That's pretty good. But I, I figure I will definitely reuse these. So take it, cut these, take everything off, and then reuse these here just to protect everything and smooth the transition uh, towards the front. And then as for these, I know it's not ideal, but I'm gonna have to find a good coupler. So once this is cut, I'm gonna have to find some kind of coupler Maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll have to look at that, but unfortunately I have to somehow get to the power first, so I think this is probably the best option. Rather than in one of my previous videos, I talked about pounding some uh, uh, copper tubing flat or something like that, but I think with this ultrasonic weld, uh, I think the best option probably would be to reuse these, I did test this power. I have this right here. Uh, there's no power here, obviously. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be quite so careless. But yeah, so I think the best path is to reuse these and just try to figure out how to how to couple this later. So that's where I'm at. And in case anybody else is also wondering, this is a uh, two out cable in my, which is plenty. There, that's more than I need. Obviously, it's going to be a long run, so I do need thicker cable for that, but this this cable is only ever really going to see 200, 250 amps. Uh, th this is built for a, a lot higher amperage, but because it is a longer run, I'll probably transition from 2 aught to 1 aught to the Anderson connector that'll be up there, uh, and then in the car, I only have 2 gauge but it's a high quality two gauge from a, a really good company. And I think it's rated up to 255 amps, which is really perfect. All right, so that's where I'm at. And uh, hopefully I can actually go online and or somehow piece this all together and make one seamless video. It's not gonna be a smooth video with nice transitions, but at least you can see exactly what I did. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now. See ya. All right, change of plans, actually. Um, I liked the cabinet idea that I just thought of. So this, in the teardrop, this whole area in the back is gonna be just the kitchen and cabinets and dishes and supplies and stuff like that. So, I mean, it really makes sense that I could do some kind of enclosure over this. Uh, I, the only downside is I wanted, my goal was to make the whole kitchenette area here uh, removable so I could slide it out. And then that way I would have the whole teardrop to put stuff in if I needed to move, say a fridge or dishwasher or wood, just stuff like that. So. I did want to have all of this removable, but I think I still can. And 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 that is still 
like negotiable. <laughs> I, I could definitely change that and not have it that way. But just thinking for the future, I really wanted to have like an enclosed carrier that I could take and just uh, have room to move stuff, bigger stuff. So that's why I, I thought I have thought about having a removable area here. So this would hinder that a bit because it wouldn't be flat anymore. But even if I had a little hump, I mean, I could still fit a piece of uh, wood over top of this if I need to move a four by eight foot sheet of wood. Um, just thinking on the fly here. Just, but yeah, so I put all this back together and put the clips back on and I redirected it so that it's going this way. It doesn't seem like I'm gonna need this. I kind of wondered if this was part of like a safety interconnect, but this pin doesn't connect to anything. So it looks like it really is just for alignment. And the other pin that's sitting right there also doesn't touch anything. So this is super lightweight, by the way. This is real aluminum, just uh, really light. So it looks like it's just for alignment. I'm not even sure why they would really need two. But then if I give this a tug, if you remember when the video started, the way it was oriented with the pins included, it had to be this way. It would had to it would have had to face backwards. But now that I have it all taken apart with the pin removed, and again, it doesn't seem to go to anything. It's not needed. There's a screw hole right there that I can find out what thread that is and incorporate a, a bracket and keep this thing in place. But by reusing this, I'll have the the weather proof there and then it just drops right in and I could even silicone that to make sure it's totally watertight it's going to be underneath the teardrop so it should be fine but then I've got the screw hole right there to mount some kind of bracket and then I could run them to the front I'm just going to have a bit of a hump there all right, so that's where I'm at for the night. I think I'll call it and uh, hopefully try to piece these all together. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my very first edited video. Uh, don't get too used to it. I'm not sure I want to spend too much time. Uh, it actually really wasn't that bad, but too much time piecing all these little fragments together. In this case, it really worked because I was talking about one specific thing and I wanted to try to convey a whole story with just that one part um sorry i have to be quiet because the family's upstairs sleeping uh but i have a question for you guys for those of you still watching this long video um so you have the i have the coupler coming off the battery pack uh and the wires going towards the front uh it's a two two watt cable uh i i could either cut that end off and put a crimp coupler on there I've seen them online. Uh, they're maybe uh, three, four inches long. So you shove a bunch of wire in there. Uh, I crimp it a few times. Seems like a pretty strong connection. Uh, and then I would transition that to probably just one knot uh, to go to the front. So do you think it would be better to use that, do that crimp coupler, or use the ultrasonic weld that Tesla made and then getting just a nut and bolt and then transitioning to a, a ring terminal on a uh, one out cable going to, towards the front. So do you guys really think there's a difference? Is there one way better than the other? Because I'm not an electrical engineer, just a, a tinker, just this guy who likes working on this stuff. So I, I don't know. I don't know if one way is really better than the other. So if you do know, please let me know and I will uh, go that route. So yeah, guess that's it. Hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> See you guys.